Dear audience, ladies and gentlemen, in my presentation, I would like to talk to you about the selective browsing impact of large ungulates, large herbivores in Hungary and even aged forest in Hungary in the context of uh, climate change. Climate change is now evident, and uh, we know well that uh, uh, this process will be uh, clear consequences on the vegetation composition and distribution of temperate forests uh, uh, in Europe. As you can see in this map, um, the ecological vulnerability of this region, including Hungary, is high to this uh, future climate change. Based on our experiences uh, and uh, the modeling about the future, we, uh, we can um, expect uh, that the highest vulnerability among the Hungarian target tree species of the forest management uh, uh, is linked to uh, beech, Fagus sylvatica, and uh, Quercus petra. This is uh, pedunculate oak. So in the last decades, uh, we experienced large-scale beech uh, mortality in Hungary. And also, we can observe uh, serious problems about oak regeneration in Hungarian lowland areas. So it is also because these species are highly uh, drought sensitive, and this is a real problem for them, that this aridity process. At the same time, uh, non-indigenous uh, but invasive uh, tree species, this is black locust, Robinia pseudo acacia, which is a drought tolerant species, is expanding its area in Hungary, and uh, it spontaneously uh, penetrates into natural, not natural, but near natural forest habitats in Hungary, for example, in this uh, juniper shrubland. Uh, not only spontaneous uh, penetration uh, can be observed, but also the afforestation program in Hungary utilize uh, predomin predominantly this uh, tree species. So uh, this multipurpose tree species is, uh, uh, has the highest proportion among uh, uh, tree species in Hungary. It means uh, 24%. Uh, not only the um, <clears throat> black locust is expanding in Hungary, but also ungulate populations are growing and uh, increasing their, pop their population cause uh, serious uh, economic problems. It, it is game damage, but I have to say that uh, their impact is very important from, a, from an ecological point of view because uh, selective browsing impact uh, influence the, the fight among uh, um, different woody tree species, so it influences uh, forest biodiversity. Uh, Herbivory can both uh, strengthen and counteract uh, with uh, climate change impact on vegetation composition. So it depends on the drought sensitivity of different woody species on, uh, on the tolerability uh, against the uh, browsing uh, impact and uh, also the intensity of browsing on these species, uh, etc. So uh, to evaluate the joint impact of uh, herbivory and climate change, uh, climate, uh, climate change effects uh, uh, together uh, in Hungarian forest. Uh, we established a preference order of different woody species uh, in uh, Hungarian uh, forest ecosystems to, to uh, predict future outcome of this uh, joint effects. So our questions were, uh, was which forest species are more preferred by wide ungulates, so it is mainly uh, red deer in Hungary. The native, more drought-sensitive tree species, uh, it is beech and pe mainly pedunculate oak, or the non-native, more drought-tolerant tree species, which is black locust in our uh, situation, or native, economically less or not relevant uh, woody species. We had five study areas uh, in Hungary. All of them were under evenaged forestry system. 
So the first one is high Ossendure. This is an intensively managed pine and black locust forest on sandy soil. Gamans, this is the famous uh, flat plain area, mainly with poplar and oak ash forests. Shagesd, this is a hilly region dominated by hornbeam oak and alder forests. Jelitz, this is a mountainous region. This is a landscape protection area, uh, mainly by hornbeam oak and silver lime beech forest. And Felső Tárkány, which is located in the Bük National Park, but it is, you can see it is intensively managed. It is mainly dominated by uh, hornbeam oak and uh, beech forests. So in these areas, we uh, conducted seasonal investigation throughout years. Uh, it was uh, the same um, <clears throat> measure in all areas in every season. It means that we measure the number of available shoots for angulates uh, in the understory. It means between zero and two meter haze. And uh, also we measure the number of shoots of each woody species, uh, uh, which is browsed by angulates. So this is an example. So these are the shoots which were calculated and this one, for example, this one, one uh, uh, browsed shoot. By this data, uh, we uh, calculated the availability and utilization of all woody species in all area in every season. And uh, we determined whether a species was frequent or rare or was preferred or avoided. And also we qualified the, uh, the preference of different species by Jacob's uh, selectivity index. And finally, we established a browsing preference order of all woody species. So this is our main result. This is only one figure, but it was a lot of work. Uh, so uh, you can see almost all woody species in Hungary and uh, uh, forested area in the understory, but uh, not all because if uh, there was one species only one time, uh, it is not uh, included uh, in this figure. And at the left side, you can see the uh, most preferred species. At the right side, the generally avoided uh, species. And you can see that uh, bruise, bruising impact refers almost all woody species of the understory but uh, the main three species of uh, Hungarian forest management generally are not preferred species. So you can see the most common target tree species, Robinia pseudo acacia, black locust by green column. So it was irregularly, but many times preferred. But the other uh, main three species, Fagus sylvatica and uh, Quercus species was uh, always avoided, so there was no case when they were preferred. And uh, which were then the preferred species? These were generally those species which were not uh, economically important, different shrub species. So I think you, you are not able to read it, but these are, for example, uh, uh, elderberry, blackberry, so sambucus, rubus, uh, rosa, canina, uh, common uh, dogwood, so uh, cornus sanguina, etc. so this kind of shrubs. So what is the message uh, of, this, uh, <clears throat> uh, of this investigation? Uh, in Central Europe and also in Hungary, average forest management is still very common, but uh, in the last decade we started to, to move towards uh, close to nature forestry in very slow steps, but it started. And uh, we hope and we can observe that it will increase the forest diversity and uh, it result in a higher resilience of the forest against different disturbances, for example, uh, uh, aridity process and also herbivory impact. And uh, also we, uh, we hope that the understory will be more diverse and, uh, and the multi-species understory uh, will uh, give chance to angulate, to, to be able to, to decide what to eat. So they can follow uh, a selective uh, 
uh, browsing behavior. And uh, as we could see uh, according to our results, it will, uh, uh, it will lead to a, to a positive situation because they, they will be able to avoid beach and, and oak because they prefer uh, different shrub species. But uh, this is not the same for black locust because it was many times uh, uh, preferred uh, uh, main tree species. So it can be a negative effect as a game damage, but uh, also from an ecological point of view, it can be a very good uh, impact because uh, if, it is a, if it is an intensive uh, browsing impact, uh, it can mitigate or even arrest uh, the penetration of, of this uh, invasive species of uh, our, uh, <coughs> our uh, forest habitats. So I suggest that uh, investigation, investigating the general rules in the feeding behavior and food selection of different ungulates is very important uh, because uh, if we follow the the pattern of the selectivity on different uh, woody species. We were able to predict which species uh, can be the winners and losers in the, in the future, and uh, we can decide uh, what to do as a forest manager or as a game manager. So forest manager, it is important if uh, it see that this uh, uh, selection pattern uh, is not good, so uh, generally avoided species are uh, intensively browsed, it means there is something wrong uh, with the food supply, so there is no good, good uh, uh, tree species or woody species for red deer. So th it has to increase the uh, understory diversity. Meanwhile, for a game manager, it is important to see whether uh, it, uh, is too much uh, individuals using, uh, utilizing this uh, food supply because if there are too much individu individu individuals feeding at the same area, it means that they compete with each other, so they have no chance to, to every indivi individual to follow its uh, optimal uh, selective behavior. So it means they will have a total impact on the vegetation. So, uh, Thank you for my colleagues and students uh, participating in this work, and thank you for our sponsors, and thank you for your attention. <laughs>